The Millennium Pack is here, and with it comes a lot of new cards from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! animated series that have never been real cards before. It's very exciting for me in particular, because a lot of the cards that I've always wanted from the show are actually in this pack. Uh, for example, Trap Hole of Spikes. Originally called Chasm of Spikes on the TV show, this was one of Joey's cards that he used in the Duelist Kingdom tournament. Uh, I always remember the visual of Bandit Keith's Metal Zoa coming over to attack Joey's monster and then just whoop right off the screen, swallowed up by Chasm, well now Trap Hole of Spikes. This card, when an opponent's monster that was normal or special summoned attacks this turn, or it was summoned this turn and then it attacks, uh, you can destroy it and then inflict damage to your opponent equal to half of that monster's attack points. The really neat thing about this card is that it is a trap hole normal trap, which means you can use it with Trap Tricks or Felicia from Breakers of Shadow. So you don't even have to draw this card, you can just play it straight from your deck if you need to. And my bet is that most people won't be expecting it, because they'll be expecting you know, Time Space Trap Hole, Bottomless Trap Hole, something like that. So you could surprise your opponents with this. Another card I really enjoyed is Holding Legs. This is one of Merrick's cards. It's part of a pair with Holding Arms, which is also in the Millennium Pack. But Holding Legs is the one that I like because it can bounce away all set and spell and trap cards on the field whenever it's summoned. And it's a Fiend-type monster, so you can do something like send it from your deck to the graveyard with Fiend griefing at the end of your opponent's turn and then revive it with Call of the Haunted right away to bounce all of the traps that your opponent just set back to your hand. Left Arm Offering is another Merit card, actually. This was used against Yugi in the Battle City Finals. So Merrick's whole strategy in the TV show was to get the Winged Dragon of Raw into the graveyard and then bring it back with Monster Reborn over and over and over again to abuse its many different forms, including the Immortal Phoenix form, which you can also find in the Millennium Pack. Left Arm Offering was one of the cards that he used to do it because it lets you get rid of the rest of your hand to get any spell card from your deck to your hand. This version of it, you can't set any spell or trap cards before you play it, and you need to have two or more other cards in your hand when you play it. You banish all the cards in your hand, and then you get any spell card. Uh, the new FNL list, Forbidden and Limited Cards list, went out recently, and uh, key cards for certain decks like Reasoning are now limited. So if you're playing one of the decks that was affected by this, such as Infernoids, uh, you can go and get your Reasoning with Left Arm Offering, if you're willing to pay the price. In the final duel of the original TV series, Yugi faced off against the Pharaoh. And one of the cards the Pharaoh used to try to deal the last damage needed was Rebellion. Rebellion, during the battle phase, it's a quick play that you can play to take control of one of your opponent's monsters. Now, the rest of your monsters can't attack after using it, and you only get the monster for that battle phase. But this could be just the card you need to push through the final bit of damage that you need to win the duel. It's also useful in situations where, say, you have three monsters and I have three monsters. And two of your monsters are kind of small, but one of them is bigger than everything else I have. So this would be a situation where I would want to use my monsters to attack through your lower attack point monsters, maybe deal a little damage, and then I can use Rebellion to take your big monster and attack you with that. And finally, another fan favorite that's finally making its appearance in the real-life card game is Card of Demise. Now, sometimes when you are an anime protagonist, you just need more cards to work with. And Yugi had Card of Sanctity to help him refill his hand, and similarly, Kaiba had Card of Demise to help refill his. Now, this version isn't quite exactly the way it was on TV. Uh, that version drew five cards. This one lets you draw until you have three cards in your hand, but you can't special summon during the turn that you use it, and your opponent doesn't take any further damage. So you want to make all of your plays and attacks first, and then set as many traps for your hand as possible, and use Card of Demise to get some more cards, which you can then set, or if you haven't used your normal summon for the turn, you can summon a monster as well. These are just five of the new cards that are in the Millennium Pack. Um, there are a lot more. Some are straight from the TV show, and others are based on things that you've seen in the TV show. But they're all cool and you can pick them up in the Millennium Pack, which is on sale on April 15th. For more, you can follow us on Facebook at Official Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. Subscribe to us on YouTube right here at Official Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. You can also follow us on Twitter at Yu-Gi-Oh! underscore TCG. 
or follow our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash official Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. That's where we'll do all of the live coverage from tournaments from now on. Nope, that'll do it for now. I'll see you next time.